So, I can't help but notice the similarities between the premise of this movie and 1992's Universal Soldier. I mean, the character of Bloodshot was introduced into comics in late 92, four months after Universal Soldier premiered. I'm just saying. Coincidence? I think not. I got an idea. Maybe just give a nod to Universal Soldier by throwing in a JCVD cameo somewhere. Just a really quick cameo. Maybe he can punch a snake or something. The plot! Vin Diesel is a soldier that dies and wakes up and is told, hey, you're a super soldier now. With his new powers, he uh, decides to seek revenge. Unfortunately, things in his new life are not as they appear, and shit gets punchy. Vin Diesel! I think Vin is an interesting actor. He's this big action sci-fi star, and he still manages to take these characters that he plays and makes them all unique. Unlike someone else we know. Take Dom Toretto, or Riddick, or Bloodshot even. They're these characters that are completely different, that are just really good at punching stuff. He's an action star that has the ability to be different in every movie. Whoa. Bloodshot is this badass Punisher type guy that has this crazy healing ability because his body's full of nanites. Nanites are these little robots that heal him really fast, kind of like Wolverine. And he's fearless, but he also has this great sense of humor. He's a good character. I like this character, and Vin did a great job. The other characters in this movie are very comic book but they're good at taking those cliches and subverting your expectations. Guy Pierce, I really like the way they portrayed his character. He's a type of character for sure, but the way his character's path goes is unpredictable. And then there's Aiza Gonzalez. Her character had a very interesting dynamic as well. You know, just... Overall, I thought this was a very good sci-fi comic book movie. Even though the concept is not very original, the way they formatted the story kept me guessing. And I found myself very interested in what was going to happen next. I thought all the characters were great as far as it came to them playing their part in movies like this. The action. Very cool. Very fun. But they went a little overboard on that super slow-mo, speed it up really fast effect. When it comes to that effect, just pump the brakes a little bit, okay? This movie actually feels like a six-issue, one-shot comic book series, and I like that. I feel like they're only scratching the surface with this character, and I want to see more. So in hopes that this movie makes enough money to continue the series, I'd say yes, go see it. Rapid Fire Review. Subscribe!